Okay. I think I can record now. My phone is being annoying. All right. Tonight is the long-awaited video that took me forever or like to do because of difficulties financial and family crisis wise. But I'm finally doing the Mexican candy haul video. I got all this candy at my local Mexican market. It's called El Ranchito. There's like a chain around the Chicagoland area. And they sell really like all these candies for like really cheap. And this one is a tamarind candy. Tamarinds look like a weird little bean pod, but they have like little fruit in it, I think. And it's like sweet and soury flavor. It's hard to describe. But this one's tamarind candy. It's basically, it's like a little taffy paste that they put on the back of the spoon with some like chili powder. And they wrap it up in plastic with like the little rubber bands and you just lick it off the spoon. A lot of Mexican candy has like main, just like tamarind flavored or chamoy, or it's just like a lot of it is savory candy. They incorporate like the lime chili into a lot of their candy. I haven't personally had this one. It cost me like a buck 49, but I like tamarind. So I have high hopes for this one. So I'll try this one later, but from what I know of tamarind, and it looks like there's chili powder in it, it's going to taste like sweet, sour, and spicy. So I'm excited to try this one. This is uh, Lucas Panzon. Um, Lucas has a dip, all these brand of candies. A lot of them have an emphasis on either being like very sour or very hot or a little combination of both. This is a sucker and you dip it in, like you invert the bottle and dip it into this like fruity chamoy sauce, which is like this sweet spicy sauce and you douse it onto like fruit or this weird Mexican street food where you just open a bag of like Doritos and you put like crunchy peanuts, cabbage, uh, chicharrones, like the pickled kind, like all this stuff in it. And like cabbage and shredded carrots. It's like a street food. There's no like name for it, but my Hispanic uh, subscribers probably know what I'm talking about. But this one, it's uh, basically what it's like chamoy and chili, and you just dip the sucker into it. Another brand they have from Lucas is Salsa Getty. It's like pineapple, tamarind, and chili. Like, formed into a spaghetti so my guess is it's going to be like this pineapple it's actually there's no tamarind it's just pineapple and chili so it's going to be taste like pineapple and uh spicy because the lucas brand they do like put a lot of emphasis on either being really like sour or they are really spicy is it tamarind Oh, it actually it is. I got it wrong right the first time. It's spicy apple, pineapple, tamarind flavored hot candy. And it was extruded into a spaghetti shape. And this is probably like 50 cents along with this one. This one is called Boo Boo Lu Boo. Um, I've never had it before. It's one of the sweeter Mexican candies. It's from Ricolino. It's pretty much marshmallow, strawberry jelly, and chocolate. I don't like marshmallow-based candies all that much. Now with new image. Okay. But I think my boyfriend will eat it. He likes sweeter stuff. But I see this a lot in the Mexican stores. And um, I think I've only seen it in strawberry. So, But I'm not into like marshmallow, so I'm not going to eat it. But it does sell a lot, I think. I think that was like 50 cents. This is a coconut, baked coconut macaroon candy. I see these in Mexican stores all the time. They're usually dyed like different colors. Sometimes like the Mexican flag. Other times like they're just dyed one solid color. I got a yellow looking one because it looked most like a macaroon. But basically it's just blocks like just straight up coconut macaroon. This is really sweet. It's one of the uh, sweeter Mexican candies. But just imagine like a giant block of 
of a macaroon. So, yeah, but it's good. It's just re if you're really into sweet, I can only eat them like half of it because sometimes it's too sweet. And it's, but it's good. Um, I should have got the one in the Mexican flat because it seems to me they are like different flavors. And this is from El Super Leon, but they have different brands of, you know, Mexican coconut blocks. I don't know. I can't think right now. I just got off work, but these are good. These cost me you know, like a, I don't know, like a dollar. This one, if you've been to a Mexican store, you will see a lot of them, like these everywhere. It's called De La Rosa, and you think it would be like something to do with roses, but it's not. It's like a peanut and honey flavored in the style of marzipan. I personally don't like these because the texture is very dry and crumbly. I remember having them a few couple times in an attempt to like it, and I just couldn't, I just didn't like it. The texture is just like this dense, dry, crumbly peanut uh, consistency, and I didn't care for it. But my boyfriend said he liked them when I picked them out at the store. You can buy them in a pack of four if you get them from like a distributor package or you can get them individually and these are really cheap too i think this was like a buck 29 or if you buy them individually they're usually like about maybe 30 cents but yeah if you like marzipan peanut and honey then you know this thing is up your alley go for it and try it me personally i did not like these when i was a kid trying them i tried to like them one time I got one and it just, it looked fine, but when I opened it, it completely turned into powder. And I was like, nope, I gave up on trying to like these. But my boyfriend likes them, so I'm, it's not going to go to waste. What else? This is a uh, King, or not King, Carlos the Fifth bar. It's a Nestle product. It's a chocolate bar that... Is distributed in Mexico. Nestle sometimes like you know like the Cadbury in the United Kingdom. This is a Mexican product that Nestle distributes that you can't that's not normally available in the States but you can find it in Mexican uh, grocery stores. This was like maybe like a quarter but they're always really small and I like how they named it after the actual Holy Roman Emperor. Emperor. I can't talk. They named him after the actual Holy Roman Emperor, uh, King Carlos V. It was just like, okay. It's like, he was a tyrant that was like, you know, responsible for the death of millions of indigenous, like, Mayan and Incans. But he was a fine chocolatier. He introduced chocolate to the European people. But don't forget, he killed, like, you know off of whole indigenous people in the name of Christianity with his conquistadors. Look how happy he is that, you know, he introduced chocolate to everybody. So, you know, forget your uh, Mayan and Aztec roots and just remember, if anything, you got chocolate out of the deal for losing your cultural identity with Catholic oppression. But hey, they're good. I ate a couple of them. Like... It's like a different type of milk chocolate. I can't describe it. But if you ate it, you would know what I mean. It just, it tastes different than like American milk chocolate. But they are good. And then last but not least, these are Vero Mango Pops. It's like a mango flavored sucker and it's dipped in like this dry chili powder. So when you like suck on them, at first they're like spicy and then they get sour and then they get sweet. They have them in elotes, which is like the corn one, but I don't like corn. I do like mango, and I love these. And I've had them before throughout my uh, childhood. So, but as soon as the chili would wear off, I'd stop sucking them because I didn't like don't like sweet things that much. But I liked them because they were just dipped in chili powder and whatever. But yeah, that's it. And these all you can get for like a buck and under. And it cost me like $10. And I'm sorry it took forever for this. And I would suggest to anybody, go to your local Mexican supermarket and, you know, 
taste what another culture has to offer, you know, because you'd be poor for it, honestly. You should embrace another person's culture, especially in the times that we are in of uncertainty and fear and xenophobia or whatever. A lot of fear mongering going on. So, you know, rather than give into the fear mongering and think like, oh my God, we're going to go back to like the 1950s. Which, you know, that doesn't take a president to make us to go back that way. It takes the American people. And I think the American people, you know, you fought before, you fight again, and you'll always fight. Because it's you that makes this nation great. Not one man in a White House. So if you don't want your country to go to hell, you gotta make, let people, like, you know, let the, the people know who put you in fear. That you're not going to let that happen. And I really think that you should, you know, especially now, embrace somebody else's culture, see what they have to offer, and get the taste of it because, you know, it's a learning experience and you'll be richer for it. But thank you to the 151 people who've subscribed to me and for the patience in this video. And I'll take any other suggestions or criticism, trolling, whatever. It's you guys that make these poorly put together videos possible. So, you know, like, like I said, subscribe, please feel free to share. Or if anything, go to your Mex local Mexican grocery store and get some, you know, chili flavored mango pops or chocolate made by a tyrant. All right, have a good day.